एस एफ एट पॉइंट ए वॉज ट्वेंटी वन किलो न्यूटन पॉजिटिव एस एफ एट पॉइंट बी वी वर हैविंग टू वैल्यूज द फर्स्ट इज वन किलो न्यूटन पॉजिटिव एंड द सेकेंड वन इज माइनस फोर्टीन किलो न्यूटन अ नेगेटिव वैल्यू नाउ द वैल्यूज विच आई हैव प्लॉटेड अब द लाइन दे आर पॉजिटिव द वैल्यूज विच आर बिलो द लाइन दे आर नेगेटिव सो यर आई हैव ड्रॉन द एस एफ डी शी एफ डायग्राम फॉर द गिवेन बीम This is my SFD. Next, I have to draw the bending moment diagram, and for that, I need to calculate bending moment at all critical points. I'll say that the step number three is BM calculations. That is bending moment calculations. Now, if we look at the beam which is given in the problem, this beam ABCD. it is hinged at a and roller supported at c but for calculating the bending moment at hinge support the bending moment would be zero so i'll say that moment at a is equal to zero next here we have c to d as the overhanging portion of the beam so at point d the bending moment is zero next i need to calculate bending moment at point b and at point c so first i'll start with b at point b the bending moment is here i will be getting reaction at a in the upward direction ra value that was 21 kilo newton so if i take the moment of ra about point b it will be in the clockwise direction and here is the sign convention that if we have clockwise moment to the left and anti clockwise moment to the right they are positive if i have anti clockwise moment to the to the left and clockwise moment to the right they are negative so here if we see ra into 2 that will be positive because it is to the left so i have 21 into 2 next the intensity of udl which is given in the problem it is ten kilo newton per meter so here i have ten so this value will be ten into two and acting at half of the distance so it would be minus 10 into 2 into half of 2 so therefore moment at point b it will be equal to this value comes out to be 20 and here i have 42 minus 20 that gives me 22 kilo newton meter then moment at c will be equal to here i have 10 kilo newton acting to the right of c so it is producing a clockwise moment and here the value would be since it is clockwise to the right of section so it would be negative so minus 10 multiplied by 2 that is minus 20 kilo newton meter so here i have calculated the moment at b moment at c at a and d the moment is zero now i can easily draw the bending moment diagram bending moment at a is zero bending moment at b is 22 
इट इज ट्वेंटी टू किलो न्यूटन मीटर देन बेंडिंग मोमेंट एट सी इज माइनस ट्वेंटी बेंडिंग मोमेंट एट ए एंड डी दे आर जीरो मोमेंट एट ए इज जीरो मोमेंट एट डी इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ वेन आई हैव ऑल द वैल्यूज आई कैन इजीली ड्रॉ द बेंडिंग मोमेंट डायग्राम एज वी सी बिटवीन ए टू बी देर इज यू डी एल यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड सो शेयर फोर्स वॉज एन इनक्लाइन लाइन एंड हेंस बेंडिंग मोमेंट शुड बी अ पैराबोलिक कर्व नेक्स्ट बिटवीन बी टू सी यर वी हैव कॉन्स्टेंट लोड शेयर फोर्स वॉज कॉन्स्टेंट सो बेंडिंग मोमेंट विल बी एन इनक्लाइन लाइन नेक्स्ट एज वी कैन सी बिटवीन सी टू डी शेयर फोर्स इज अ स्ट्रेट लाइन कॉन्स्टेंट लाइन सो बेंडिंग मोमेंट शुड बी एन इनक्लाइन लाइन सो यर आई हैव प्लॉटेड the bending moment diagram this is my bending moment diagram i have noted the values at all the points that is at a b c and d now one thing interesting we have to note here that your bending moment is changing sign from positive to negative so the moment bending moment changes its sign from positive to negative that is it becomes zero at one particular point and this point will be called as point of contraflexure this is called as point of contraflexure now i will be calculating the value of bending moment or i can say the point of contraflexure i have where the bending moment is zero i will be calculating this distance that is i will be giving the location of this point of contraflexure now how to give this location we would be using the prob problem we would be using the concept for this of similarity of triangles so i'll say that we have to locate to locate the position of point of contraflexure now how to locate the point of contraflexure for that i would be using the principle of similarity of triangles i'll draw this triangle at which is at a distance x and this smaller triangle likewise it will be here the value of this height is 22 kN meter and here this is 20 kN meter this distance is x and as we see between b to c it is 3 meters and from b i am taking x so the remaining distance is three minus x so now by using similarity of triangle i can easily get the value of x therefore i will say that 22 that is height of bigger triangle upon base of bigger triangle which is x is equal to height of smaller triangle upon base of smaller triangle which is 3 minus x so therefore this will be 22 into 3 minus x cross multiplication is equal to 20 into x so therefore this becomes 66 
minus 22x is equal to 20x. Therefore, if I add these values, it would be 42x is equal to 66. And therefore, x is equal to 66 divided by 42. So that value comes out to be, it is 0 0.33, that value which I am getting, it is 1.57 meters from point B. So here I have got x is equal to 1.5 centimeter from 1.57 meter from B and from A it is 1.57 plus 2 that is 3.57 meters and this is the point where bending moment is 0 and we are getting point of contra flexure and with this we complete the question.